and welcome back to another Minecraft Beans episode. And today I'm going to show you how to build a mini toy shop. It's uh it's just a a mini toy shop and it's pretty cool. You need a 20 by 10 block area. For me, it's like this. And yeah, let's just get started. We want stone, gray concrete, and stripped uh stripped spruce wood. Um on the first block, we just want to place stone, and for me, I'm actually going to put a area of five uh, gray concrete right here, and if you realize this is my uh, world, the, 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 the hidden world that I'm really not supposed to be showing, but I mean, yeah, I'm just going to try and keep it as hidden as possible, but yeah. You want to go up with the stone all the way to the back and over all the way to there. And also, as you can see, I put uh, two stone with, uh, with a gap of five. You want to connect these. Well, actually not connect. You want to leave a gap of one, three up, four down, gap of one. But right here, we want to place stone and going all the way to the edge and all the way to the top. This is the main right. Right here is kind of the garage area. And right here is the main toy shop. We also want to have a gap of two. Actually, you know what? Or, yeah, gap of two right there. Four with a five right there. That is the main entrance. Pretty cool. Um, Now you want to grab your stripped spruce wood. And now that I realize you actually want way more than a 20 by uh, 10 block area. You actually want a one, two, three, four, five. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, th actually a 22 by 12 block area. Right here, um, on the block that connects there to there, you want to place two stripped wood and two stripped wood right here. That way there's a gap of four in between. This is kind of the only area that we have that, other than right, oh, oh no, other than right here. We want to have stripped spruce wood right there and stripped spruce wood spruce wood right there and yeah that is kind of the main layout of the area done now actually you know what hold on uh grab out your strip spruce wood stone and all of these items because that's yeah actually wait no put those ones back grab out these two and yeah that should be that you want to go up on the garage by uh, three, so we've already marked out this, let me just, uh, fill that in, uh, yeah, pretty cool, um, up by three, and right here, we want to have, or, no, wait, not, that's, that's only, there we go, by, uh, yeah, go up by three, you know, you have that, on this next one, though, you want to go up by six, or, Wait, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a, it it's up by five. Uh, but it has a, it's up by five, but it's a layer of six. As you can see, I let left three blocks where the uh door the main door is. Yeah, you'll just have to see that later. This is, I don't know if I mentioned this is a toy shop that we're making. Mainly a rustic one, if you want to figure out how to make rustic buildings, because I'm learning how to do that. Uh, and right here, you want to just add block, or, er, not right there, actually. We want to place them right there. Now we want to start working on the roof. For this roof right here, it's going to be pretty simple. You want to place dark oak slab right here, and it going up, oh boy, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, right in the middle of it, you want to just go up to the uh, middle point in it, I think that's the middle point, you want to start right there, three, gradually slope up with dark oak slab until you reach the middle, which I believe this is the middle, let me just make sure. Yep. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Middle's right there. 
Um, but yeah, you want to do this with the stone so it has, wait, what? I, uh, um, yeah, I did something wrong there, oh, oh no, oh, oh boy, um, don't worry, every, everything's going fine, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all going according to plan, yup, alright, so that should be the roof, and, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, uh, that looks, that looks pretty, pretty cool, okay, now you wanna add the exact same thing you just did to the other side, uh, so, bum, 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 uh, yep, there we go, and there we go. You also want to connect these, and these. <clears throat> now, right here, we want to just connect these with spruce slab. Just to have some uh, changes to the way this looks. That way it's not all one color. Because one colored roofs tend to look a little bland. And right here. There we go. You also want to add a mini roof right here. Using spruce stairs or not spruce stairs dark oak stairs on these and you want it to connect up to there with some spruce slabs right there there we go so that's our mini roof we also want to actually or wait no we don't as hold on wait what <laughs> um but yeah that's that that's that we want to bring these down a notch make a full block including right there uh oh no um we want to connect this over to here with dark oak and as you can see that will eventually connect to right there and naturally for more depth you want to add a layer of dark oak trapdoors going along looks kind of kind of crazy right now um yep going along to add a little bit of detail to the build because we all love that little bit of detail we also want to add some right there there we go so that is that part of the roof done the main reason we want this is well i'll show you the main reason we want that later um now right here we want to do a little something different with the roof we want to center it out which is right here and right here and it should go up to right there. So the center is exactly at that point. But right now, we want to place some dark oak stairs. And because this is a bigger or a, a smaller medium sized build, I found out something cool you can do with the roof. In fact, actually, you want to you wanna break those. And yeah, I found out something cool you can do with roofs. Instead of having upside down stairs, which is something I usually do, add slabs to the base of the roof. Oh, wait, hold on. We also want to do that. Because it just makes it feel a little more different because it's rustic. And I, I don't know. It just it looks cool, I guess. Um, You know, we want to bring these up to the top. Also add slabs at the top, that way it just also adds a little bit more of a style of rusticness. <laughs> and then you will just want to connect all of these, and also you don't want to connect the top one with spruce slab. Want to not do that. And this is going to kind of be the main design of the roof, you want to connect it with dark oak slab. This is going to be the main kind of design of the roof done and actually the main design of the house or not house uh building done uh you want to add uh dark oak slab there and uh dark oak slab going up and right here on these three or 
four. Wait. Actually, you want to get rid of that one and put it right there. These four are going to have something and then just some spruce trapdoor there. It adds a little bit of detail. And also, actually, I think I want to add trapdoors there. Yeah, I, I did not experiment with that. And then you just want to add dark oak trapdoor in the same kind of air uh thing going along the bottom uh we'll add more detail to the roof and everything in just a minute because right now as you can see it's looking kind of bland but right now we want to put all of this away and this is in the wrong area we want to grab our stuff right here and yeah as you can see this is what i grabbed and also your stone stairs you want to put place your stone stairs there and inside spruce doors usually i have it on the outside but right now it's rustic so i kind of ha like having it on the inside right now you want to make this part of the roof connect up and same thing here in fact you might want to get rid of that oh wait hold on yeah right there I'm gonna fix everything real quick and there we go oh wait there's one more thing right here we want to add some spruce stairs right here and I think that's actually good Can I? oh, oh no oh my gosh <laughs> uh yeah there we go stone stairs that's pretty much the outside of the building done now we want to start adding some design we want to grab cobblestone mossy cobblestone uh, and insight gravel and all the things i'm grabbing right now as as you can see um oh actually we forgot one thing we want to make a little sign for the building we want to have uh, nether brick wall going up right here and dark oak fence going right there and we want to have it kind of right there in that area and you can call this anything you want like uh, Gary's toy store or whatever <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll I'll name it something and it's a name location so I can't really uh can't really say it but as you can see that's the outside of the building done now we want to start designing um, you want to have a mixture of all of these blocks in your building. We want to start with mossy cobblestone and just kind of like place it anywhere you want. I personally like putting mossy, mossy, mossy cobblestone on the bottom of my builds because it feels more like nature is taking it over plus this is a rustic style building so naturally it's older than most um we'll have that right there and one right there and one right there now we want to switch to our cobblestone and just kind of have cobblestone just a little bit higher up from that area in any which way you want Eventually, it'll look pretty cool. As you build through it. I'm actually going to have some cobblestone there. Some cobblestone right there. I'm actually going to replace that with mossy cobblestone. Put cobblestone right there. We also forgot this wall right here. Uh, let me just kind of fix that. Now we want to go to our and in sight and have it at a much higher point than both of the blocks. Still have some stone in there because the stone is going to have a smoother texture than most of the stuff we're putting. And uh, I'll, I'll put that right there. Uh, the gravel is going to be a little bit weirder. I'm going to put some in sight there. Now we switch to gravel. Now don't put a lot of gravel anywhere because it's going to it's gonna clash a lot, as you can see. So keep it at a very, very low minimum. And 
for me, I think that's a good amount of gravel. I'm on like one, not right there. <laughs> one, oh my gosh. One right there. You actually want to replace some of the base blocks with some stone brick. Just to make it seem a little bit more... Um, I want to say it used to have a lot of brick in it, but then it kind of, as it was falling apart, it slowed. It, it yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it'll, uh, it'll look good once you add most of the stuff in. The stone bricks do clash a lot, so only put a little bit. But as you can see, it's already looking pretty good. And now, for the stairs, you just kind of want to make it so it's rugged and broken down. Because it, it's meant to look that way. It's not a fully, con or it used to be fully constructed. But as you can see, it kind of kind of broke down. And if you want to have some holes entering the building, you can. Also, up here, we'll work on the upper floor you don't have to add much i would recommend putting a little bit right here though like just a few pieces of anandesite and gravel because yeah it looks makes it look more rugged and stuff also anandesite stairs just kind of place some r randomly not accordingly just uh random areas And as you can see, it'll end up looking a little bit like this. And that is the main, or almost the entire outside complete. There is two more things we want to grab. We want to grab chains. And some dark oak fence, including some uh, oak trapdoor. On these sides, we want to place dark oak fence right here. And dark oak fence right there. And connect them with chains. It'll have a little bit of a cool look to it, I guess. And it makes it feel more old school, I guess. If you want to do the same thing right there, you can. But I kind of like the look of it with just two of them. Now we want to keep our oak trap door. Um, we want to place, or we want to break out two blocks right there and place some trap doors going like that. That serves as a window. And we want to place them right there, too. As you can see, it is higher up than the base window right there. And it's just to serve as a little thing. We want to break out two blocks there, three. And then three over here. Three over from the area right there. And there we go. We have that. And that is pretty much the outside completed other than one part we want to grab red concrete polished blackstone and you know all, all the things you see there uh yeah that's that's all you want you want to add red concrete here here and here this is gonna act as a train blue concrete yellow concrete caboose stone slab there we go so that's that serves as a little train now we want to make the floor the floor is going to make be made of strip spruce wood uh and some gray concrete the gray concrete is right here i also forgot to put a door right here uh let me just do that and the gray concrete's just going to be filled in right here um let me just finish this let me just see if i yeah Okay. And I have finished this. Let me just grab a chest and put it in my inventory. <laughs> now, right here is, it's a little bit different. Um, is that hole visible? That hole isn't visible. Uh, you want to place spruce wood along the top. And every single uh, one of those uh, weird extra looking things you can keep because it adds a bit of texture to it. 
You also want to add a little bit right there. And in here, basically, we just want to have it at the top right here. Let me just... There we go. And let me just... You also want to fill in the top right there. Anything visible shall be filled in. And I think that is good, other than right here. We want to uh, break out the entire thing. And this will end up looking pretty cool once we're done with it. Uh, you know, if it has that little extra division, I guess, keep it. Because it makes it look a little bit more uh, run down. More, or actually, more like it's, I, I don't know, it just adds more texture to it. Uh, and then finally, we want to grab mangrove slab, polished deep slate slab, spruce fence, uh, dark oak slab, oak trapdoor, and some stone stairs. These are the final blocks we'll need. We want to add some tables, and as you can see, we want to add specifically two tables. This table is going to be right here, and it's going to just almost break it right there. And then we want to have some stone stairs, dark oak slab, and oak trap door, and spruce fence going up to the top. And right here, we want to have some, like, just variation of stuff. Maybe some stairs. Ah, I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, that is that's that complete. And I'm actually gonna put some lighting inside of the building, and it'll end up looking pretty cool. Actually, there is one thing though. I wanna add some stone stairs right here, and right here. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna put some lanterns right here and right here. And some lanterns right here, right here. And actually, hold on. One thing we do want is to connect them right there and have some lanterns. And there we go. That is our toy shop complete. Let me just switch the time. And, oh, always day is enabled. Okay, but there we go. You can name it anything you want. Um, but as you can see, this is what this looks like. In fact, I think I'm gonna flip that so it looks a little more run down. But as you can see, this is our toy shop. It's wonderful. If you want to add a car or something in here, you can. But yeah, that is our toy shop. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.